Hi, today we're going to talk about how to breathe properly as a type 2 diabetic. Now if you're a type 2 diabetic and you're looking to heal yourself naturally of type 2 diabetes, then this is a great channel for you. Give us a subscribe, give us a like and press that notification bell so you get updates on all the videos when they come out so you can learn as quickly as possible. Now my name is John Collett and I'm the founder of Type Rhino but let's get into breathing as a type 2 diabetic. It's vitally important that you learn to breathe properly as a type 2 diabetic, especially if you're going to start doing exercise. Now, oxygen is like a massive fuel source to your muscles that keep it going, and learning to breathe properly is going to, learn, is going to allow you to stay in your fat burning zone for longer and allow to breathe out more of the fat that forms in your body. Oh, you're probably wondering what I meant by that. Well, stay tuned and I'll tell you what I mean by that later. But first of all, let's deal with what's the best way to breathe as a type 2 diabetic. Well, the best way to breathe as a type 2 diabetic is what we call belly breathing. So let me give you an example of what belly breathing is. So belly breathing is when we breathe in through our nose, we expand our belly. And when we exhale, push our belly back to our rib cage. Now for some of you this is going to be a bit alien and the reason this is a bit alien is because when you breathe currently you bring your belly into your rib cage and then when you breathe out you bring your belly out. But belly breathing is breathing exactly the same way as when we were babies and the reason we breathe the, this alternative way is because of stress and anxiety in life. Okay. So, but it doesn't allow you to get rid of all the carbon dioxide in your body that you form from walking around all the time. And it doesn't allow you to maximize the amount of oxygen you put into your body. Belly breathing allows you to do that. So let's do an exercise on how you can start learning how to belly breathe on a regular basis. So in this exercise, what we're going to do is when we breathe in, we're going to hold our breath and our, when we breathe in and our belly comes up, we're going to hold it for three and we're going to count down from three. And then when we exhale and we put our belly back to our spine, we're going to count down from three. And on the next one, we're going to count to five. And the next one, we're going to count to ten. So let's get started. So breathe in with me. Raising our bellies and then count to three. Three, two, one, exhale, let all that air out and hold it for three, two, one. And then breathe in. Expand your belly, hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then exhale. And hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. And hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale. Count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, that feels good. So this way, what we're doing is we're maximizing the amount of oxygen that comes into our body and getting rid of the carbon dioxide. And it's really good for our lungs as well. You wanna practice this until you can get it up to either 30, 40, 50, or 60 seconds. It's not gonna happen overnight, but it's eventually you'll get better and better and better. It'll also allow you to breathe a lot longer, during, breathe better during exercise and be able to make your exercise sessions go for longer. So how is it that we burn fat while we're breathing? Well, let's get into that. So how do we burn fat while we're breathing? Well, we do this because as we just start to do exercise, we start burning the, the energy in our cells. And when the energy in our cells is depleted, the body will call for more energy. 
And while your body is done, it stored your excess energy into fat so we could use it for situations like this. Now this is really good as a type 2 diabetic because as you know, your cells don't accept energy in anymore because the insulin that tells it to accept energy is ignoring. So anything that you can do to get your body beginning to accept energy again has got to be a good thing. But to, to, to burn that fat down, your body has to produce something called human growth hormone or HGH. And that combined with oxygen will burn that fat down. Now, a study by the University of Wales in 2004 showed that when you burn that fat down, when you're exercising, 86% of it will come out through your breath, where the remaining will come out through your sweat, okay? So when you're exercising and your that human growth hormone is burning out that fat, it actually comes out through your breath. Now, sitting on a chair and breathing, right, is not gonna get it to come out. You have to actively get the body moving for it to work, okay? Now, to learn more about how to stay in your fat zone and what your optimum heart rates are so that you can exercise for longer, a video will come up now for you to have a look at that. And then another video will come up somewhere on the screen, which is gonna be chosen by YouTube as a, a, a good choice. And there'll be another button for you to subscribe. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, please give us a subscribe or if you wanna keep on learning, press the button and keep on learning. But please remember, you're no longer a number, you're a rhino, so charge.